Uh, hello everyone. So this is Anmol Gera. This is a tutorial of Code Forces on Six Nine Three Division Three Problem D. You are not game. So I am assuming that you have already read the problem. If not, you can just check the link in the description. Uh, so so what I thought I got stuck in this problem for like an hour. Not gonna lie, it's very similar to a problem called. Uh, let me check the problem called. Uh, Okay, so the problem is very very similar to a problem called Stone Game 4. You can check that out. It's on Liquid Code. In that problem, we have two arrays of allies and verb. It's a little bit different, but the concept is same. Okay, so I thought you know this it, it is very similar to that problem, so I was doing it that way, which is wrong. So okay, so what's the solution? Okay, so if we carefully observe, let's suppose you know we have an array like this: five, two, one, three, six. So let's suppose you know. Uh, okay, let's just do this seven, two, four. You know, for clarity. So let's just do this. Uh, seven. As you know, what the question says. So let's suppose you know if we choose if allies. Let's suppose you know if allies did not choose seven. Let's suppose it it chooses two. So the other side. Will get seven because they will choose seven. Huh? Seven is the biggest odd number, so they will choose seven. So we have to keep track of two things. We have to maximize our sum, and we also have to max minimize theirs, the opponent sum. It's um, it's like a min max thing, you know. Like we have to also maximize our sum and we have to minimize their sum. So the, we have to keep in mind. So like you know, if we have a number, you know, which is this big. But you know, it's we cannot um, basically add it to our sum because it's it's not matching the parity we are required to fulfill. But still, we have to take it because we have to minimize our opponent sum. So that is the key here. It's very similar to the problem called jump uh, stone stone game four, which is on lead code or stone game six. I don't know exactly, but I think it's six. Yeah, it's six. You can check that. It's very very similar. That is much harder. This is much easier. But the concept is same that we have to maximize our sum and minimize their sum. So what we can do is we can sort the array in decreasing order. We can basically sort and reverse it. Now, if we can, we know we'll start from the starting from i equal to zero after reversing it. So we'll get the maximum number. Now, if the maximum number is matching our parity, the corresponding parity. Let's suppose it's it's even. Then we will add it to a lies. If not, then also we'll take it, but we'll not add it to a lies. Well, we'll not add it because we cannot, na, according to the algo. What we here we are doing is we are basically minimizing our opponent sum. If we'll not take this, so our our opponent will take this. It would be it would be basically because since it's in reverse order, this will always be a bigger number than. One of this will always be beneficial for our opponent, but we don't want to do that, right? So this is the procedure. Now we'll calculate similarly two sums like this: one for allies and one from one for Bob's. I don't know if that's the correct name. I don't know, but this something like this. The sum which is bigger would be our answer. As simple as that. So this is slightly unintuitive, but If if you got this, then please do the problem jump game six. Um, it's very good. If you not just, I mean, just try run on your own. It's very difficult to. Uh, I mean, initially it was very difficult for me at least to come up with this approach. I was thinking something else on the lines of jump game six, as I told you. But you can just pause the video or like. Just see my code and just you know like just see why it works. So I'm just gonna show you the code. Okay. So you also we have to use long long. Without long long, it was you know basically giving a wrong answer. So it's basically Stone Game Six code. <laughs> I just copied it from Lead Code. Lol. Okay. So in then ARN input an array, sort an array. Ah, uh, let me just zoom it a bit. Ah, uh, reverse the array. Uh, now I'm maintaining a count. Basically, if the count is even, then 
it's Ali's turn. If the count is odd, then it's Bob turn. And if the count is even, then if the AI is even, then we are basically adding it. Else we can will will take it, but we'll not add it because it's odd. And if similarly if the count is odd, then it's basically Bob's turn. If the number is odd, then we are adding it, and else we cannot do anything. Similarly, incrementing the count and I'm checking count percentage too. We can also do this count XOR one. It, it's totally depends on us. Or we can also do this count equal to one minus count. It just totally depends on us. If basically the sum one which correspond to which correspond to allies is greater than sum two, simply say out allies. If it is size, then simply say out I'll say out Bob. So this was basically the logic. So I hope you got the feel. If not, just pause the video and see the code and just see like why this works. Thank you.